We're going on now. A ball break, ball break. walking hand in hand in the moonlight. In the moonlight. We'll be the sweet soul there. I swear we'll never part. We're going on now. A ball break, ball break. running in the sand, feeling alright. Feeling alright. And when you fall into my arms, I'll break into your heart. Guys, it is Monday, which means it's time for another video. I finally watched one of the movies that I picked up recently. Um, so I'm going to review it today. And the movie I picked, because a lot of the movies that I got recently I have not seen. But um, I decided I would watch Wild Beasts first. And this was released in 1983. It is an Italian horror. It's kind of their version of um, Nature Run Amok movie type of thing kind of like at, it's obviously after Jaws um and it was actually a pretty good movie a little cheesy at times but still a good movie and if you're not um if you don't or if you think um like watching like animal cruelty stuff makes you squeamish um this probably is not the movie for you because there are some animal cruelty scenes in this movie um but honestly, that's how the Italians kind of did their movies back then. Like, in terms of, like, Cannibal Holocaust, for example, as a very big one when it comes to animal cruelty. Um, that's just how they did the movies back then. Um, but this is actually a pretty, like, good movie. Other than the ending. The ending was very abrupt. But basically, the story goes. It, it takes place in a zoo and all around the town. And I don't even know where the town like what it is because I saw Frankfurt which I think would be Germany but I think it's supposed to be another town I don't really know but um basically um this water supply all around the town is contaminated by PCP which is a drug that makes them like hallucinate and go crazy and kill so all the animals in the zoo end up drinking the water. These kids drink water and they all kill. And there's a bunch of crazy scenes with animals, actual like um real stuff, not just like made up stuff. It was definitely real. There's a scene where this blind guy gets killed by his dog, his guide dog. Um rats kill um a couple in a car. Elephants kill a couple in a car. Um, there's a scene with a polar bear, a leopard, a lion, a tiger. He yeah, lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! Literally, is this movie? Um, in its craziness, and if you want to see just these animals go nuts and kill all these people, this is the movie for you. If you're a fan of nature, run amok movies. This is the movie for you. Um, it might not be for everybody. It can get a little bit, um, not boring, but, um, it drags a little bit at times, but it's still, an, to me, it was still an enjoyable movie, but I will say that ending was just very abrupt. Um, they could have ended it a little bit better, but that's kind of how a lot of those, um, Italian movies were back in the day. They kind of just abruptly ended, um, except for, like, um, maybe The Beyond, for an example, that was a good, um, ending to a movie, um, but this uh, did not have a great ending. I love the movie, but did not have a great ending whatsoever, and there's just craziness in this. I don't even know what to really say. I basically gave you guys a gist of what this movie is about, um, animals and people drink the contaminated water that contains PCP, and they go nuts and kill, and it's craziness, and there's animal cruelty, um, unfortunately, but it doesn't really bother me that much, I guess, um, I'm not a sick person, don't get me wrong, it's just, that's how a lot of stuff was back then, um, there's, what else is there? that you see. Just to really the elephants, bear, polar bear, lions and tigers, and there's a leopard. There's a really cool chase scene with this girl in this like Volkswagen and um the leopard. <laughs> the leopard's like literally chasing her on the streets. Um and it's there's this music playing and it, it totally fits with that scene. I don't even know what the song is, but um 
It's crazy and I love it. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about Wild Beast. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, good nature on a muck movie. Not the best nature on a muck, but still worth a watch. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. Comment down below. Let me know um, what you want to see me review next. I will be trying to um, watch Dr. Butcher and um, I'm looking at them right now. Return to Horror High and Phantom Mall Eric's Revenge. I have to watch those. And I'm probably going to rewatch A Blade in the Dark just because um, I want to give it another rewatch before I actually review it. But if there's something else you want to review, comment down below. Let me know what that movie is or what you want me to do a video on. And stay tuned because on Friday at 8 o'clock again, I will be doing a live stream. I will be mentioning it again. Um, um, on Thursday's video and I will be scheduling it um, during the week so stay tuned for that but in the meantime I'll see you guys on Thursday